Yo, what's going on? You're tuned into the On the Beat podcast. Make sure you follow us on IG at On the Beat podcast. This is your boy Super Mario, and you're tuned in to the On the Beat podcast. Let's go. Yeah, you on the beat, talking on the beat, learning on the beat, watching on the beat. Get your heels up, won't you listen up? Yeah, you tuned in live. Yeah, you on the beat. This is your boy Super Mario. You tuned in to the On the Beat Podcast show, man. I got my special guest on, JR Son and Jack Joe from New Orleans, Louisiana. What's going on with y'all, fellas? Whoa, Whoa. Man, the Down sure, time sure, man. to be exact. Which one, Jack Joe? Down wall, huh? Down wall. All right. So, All right. <laughs> we here. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's <laughs> up, man. Hey, man. So, hey, I was on. Instagram and uh, you know, saying checking out y'all new song y'all got out called Manny Williams, right? Right, 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 all right, for sure. And uh, Manny Williams, um, if you guys don't know that man, y'all need to go check that out. Um, it's produced by Kmart Gold and featuring Jack Joe. Um, you know, what I'm right. saying it's a hot song, bro. I like what y'all got going on. Um, it, it's bananas, man, for real, for real. All right, appreciate that, brother. Oh, yeah, man. So, um, you know, won't y'all tell me a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, the background on Manny Williams, the title Manny Williams, and where that title derived from, and um, how the song came about? Well, it came up, he uh, he said when he first heard the Get Your Rolling On beat, it changed his life. And then he said when he heard the Pharrell Williams um, front and beat, it changed his life again. So he combined the two records together. And, um... That's where the sound of man names come from. As far as the collaboration, um, I tap Jay Joe on the show down the rest of history. Okay, cool. That cool. way. That yeah. way, man. That's what's up, man. Y'all definitely got a hit on that or whatnot. So um JR Son, man, uh, for the people that don't know you, uh tell us give us a little bit of uh, background about yourself and uh right after he finished uh Jack Joe, um, won't you continue on after him? All right. Uh-huh. Well, for people that don't know me, I'm a, uh, I'll am become an artist from New Orleans, Louisiana. I mean, I'm an artist slash CEO. It's a little bit different with me because I came in the game um, as a CEO and then transitioned into an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I really never saw myself doing the stuff I'm doing now today. But, um, I mean, I've been doing it serious for about the past 10, 12 years. And, um, you know, making a lot of noise within the city, regional wise, and I just feel like I'm at the break of stardom. You know what I'm saying? It's just some people it just take a little longer. So yeah, that's right. pretty much something up about me. So just an artist last CEO on the grind, man. Yeah, definitely that, man. Definitely that. Jack Joe, give a little uh, background history on um, who you are, and uh, you know, saying the, the way the people are. Jack Joe, you know. My dog just really getting me tapping into the CEO shit, but you know, I'm a pure artist, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you know, son of the legendary Mama Mia X, you hear me? Um, been doing this shit probably a little over 10 years. Um, okay. Then had all type of deals, cash money, rock, rock nation. Right. It's all type of just, just little business ventures and shit. And now I'm just really just getting with JR. and we, um, he really showing me how to like boss up on some shit to well, yeah. nigga don't even need to just be worried about just rapping. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So, you know, like that's what it is. Really, just making a transition to really just from a rapper to a business mogul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So, that's what I'm on right now. Though, as cool. far as like me, I've, I've been rapping for so long, bro. I got so much music, so much material. It's just now yeah. I'm to the point where I'm trying to like it, like have some type of organization within my shit so it can make sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My dog my dog was real modest, man. This guy got records with Big Crit, David Banner. <laughs> he, 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 oh, yeah, he was real yeah, modest. Yeah, yeah. Like, Trying to downplay it, huh? You know, he, he, uh, he me an ex son or whatever, but I ain't his claim to fame. I mean, you know, right, right. Dude, dude got a serious catalog. Like, you remember, I remember last year, people were showing their streaming counts, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of the year, this man showed the streaming counts. It wasn't even a competition with this competition. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so he really was modest about the years and what he do, man. Do like 
he one of the forefathers of uh, bringing the sound back to New Orleans. Like, you know, right, going right, against right. the brand when people asking him what he doing and stuff like that. You know, I always did it, but he really indulged into the sound of New Orleans, like uh, the more antiquated sound that we known for and bringing it to current style. So yeah. I don't right. think he understands who he is to the city as far as like of being a forefather or something like that is big. And yeah. that's why, you know, I always talk to him and I don't know he's much bigger than an artist. Like, to me, right. you know, I, I, I seen him as a CEO from day one the, by the thing that he was doing by standing alone. So I was real modest about who he is, you know what I'm saying? Shout out K-Mar Gold, that's the uh, co-CEO of uh, my label, uh, PGM, oh, okay. PGM Recording. So, you know, okay, that, cool. that sums it up, man. Cool. I got a couple of, uh, couple, you know, a few questions for you guys. Um, you know, you guys being from New Orleans and, you know what I'm saying, we all know New Orleans music have a lot of influences uh, within the city and stuff like that. For you, JR Son, uh, what would be right. your biggest music influence uh, coming out of the uh, coming out of the city, man? Baby. Birdman. <laughs> Birdman, baby. All right. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I, he was my biggest mu- music influence in, like, music, like, Period. Like, with no yeah. nigga bigger than Baby to me. Like, I I used to always argue with people about Baby and, like, how, I mean, just even not even being from the same he from. Just, like, I, I mean, what Master P did was great. Don't get me wrong. Like, he set the tone for Baby to come through and, and, and rob the game. How he did it. And Baby, the reason why my teeth look like this not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got diamonds yeah. in my teeth because of Baby. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, that was the biggest thing, being like 10 years old, seeing Baby come down Canal Street with 30 cars and all of them was his. Like, yeah. <laughs> that dude is a living legend. That dude was a millionaire at 16 years old. Like, you know, yeah. so it's like, that dude, man, like, I'm proud of what he represents for the city for us, like what it is. Like, you know how he laid it down. Like, ain't nobody ever did that like that before. Yeah, he definitely had a major, uh, a lot of accomplishments. Jack Joe, what about you, man? I- who would be your? I know you got a lot to choose, uh, a lot to choose from. So who would be your biggest? Influence? Yeah, <laughs> shit, man. Like, like Soldier Slim. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to Soldier Slim. R.P. Soldier Slim. You know, Moms, of course. Uh, man, B.G. Just like you know, like you see how Jay, like Jay, idolized the moguls because that's right. what Jay always wanted to be. Yeah. But me, right, right, right. I just rap. So like I looked up to the rappers. I ain't really look up to the CEOs until I really got older and understand what the CEO was. So right. it's like, you know, the 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 dudes that was under the CEOs, that's what really influenced me to rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. And now now that I'm older, I kinda like I understand the importance of CEO and mogul, being a mogul and all that. But like Soldier Slam, BG, my nigga Madon, Reese Murder. Like, I come up under those guys. Like, for real, it was hands on with me when I was a little kid. So, you know, it was only natural I wanted to be like them. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, you know, really just, the, just guys around the way. You know, the guys everybody else knew. That's who I was influenced by. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> Oh yeah, but man. you know what's funny, like for us rappers, because like I I came I came in on a more lyrical tip. Like I know you go back and listen to some of my music. Back. I think I probably was the most influenced by Mac than you know yeah, a lot of people was wrong, because man. Mac was rapping at a time, and um I mean he was rapping hard at a time like that when East Coast rappers respected him and they ain't respected nobody right. at that time. Yeah, like you for us like. Rappers, I had to say Mac and like, you know, it's a lot of stuff like just like how Jack Joe said, like I'm influenced by BG. Like I thought he was, I thought he was the best hot boy. And C Murder, like just really seeing C Murder and Juve, like them dudes really be in the neighborhood. In like, the you know neighborhood. what I'm saying? Like yeah. our our rappers really be in the neighborhood chilling. Like so, you know, it. I was influenced by all that stuff, but far as like what influenced me the most, baby. So just to pick it back up with Jack Joe said, not to take away from the artist. Yeah, yeah. But Birdman, that nigga, the music, I don't see nothing fucking with that. Like you yeah. see, you you see how Jay Persan is, so you automatically know off the back, even though he's yeah. from downtown, you know he's from seven, you hear me? 
Uh -huh. He still got that Birdman aura, though. Dude being Buku uh. cars. Dude got Buku Cuban links. Oh, yeah. He got diamonds in the uh. <laughs> like, so That's because of baby. <laughs> 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 but, sure, man. man, and, um, you, right. know saying, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, with the things that we got going on now, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, having to, you know, keep the hustle going and stuff like that in this pandemic situation, um, how you guys have been using social media right now to, you know, saying keep your exposure current and um and keeping it out there man, starting all live right me and this dude me and this dude really have <laughs> business meetings about how to move around with this pandemic going on i'd be like bro we gotta do this we gotta do that we gotta we gotta mash in their face kind of like in a different manner because we can't be in a fix in public mm -hmm. like we can't like we personable people like yeah. you come to new orleans and see us in the streets You'll see me walking with the old lady holding our groceries. You'll see Jack Joe giving the bump some money to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so we di we different in our community. It's like, you know, these little kids really look up to us. So we really, we really mindful of that. And we touch the people differently. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our posters in the, in the corner stores, not because we just went and asked the promo, because we really shop at them stores. Like, them dudes really know us. Like, we really go get bread and sand. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's different. So it's been difficult on us by being so connected with the people that right. it's been taking that connection away. So we've been utilizing the ability that we can do that other other artists not in a in a situation to do not that we sound we better than <laughs> artists we just separating ourselves away from what's going right. on during the pandemic like you know what i'm saying like they got an artist right now at home that can't eat like you know right. what i'm saying like yeah and i ain't i ain't uh yeah i ain't like making fun of them i'm right. just i'm just indulging in my blessing like all right yeah i I know I can do this. I know I can do that. Even in the pandemic, like I ain't panicking. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, and definitely, you know, what I'm saying, having, you know, having that plan of attack, you know, for us, you know, how yeah, we still got a plan of attack. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, and uh, you know, to follow up with that question, um, you know, what like I say, like what has been like your challenges? coming up, you know what I'm saying, in the industry to get where both of you guys have been at. Uh, I'll start with you, Jack Joe. Uh, what's been, like, the challenge um, you've been dealing with, you know, just coming up in the industry, seeing as how, you know, you've been around it for a long time? Yeah, learning how to deal with, like, not drink, like, you know, people don't be genuine, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's the only thing. I don't really care about the other stuff that come with the industry, because it come with the industry, but that 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 being genuine that shit just ruffles my feathers dog like because you it ain't nothing to tell a nigga no you right. can't do it you you won't do it mm -hmm. it can't do nothing but respect your mind you feel me but when you just don't say nothing or you just lead somebody in a direction and you know you can't help this person it's like you know it's a waste it's a waste of time it's a waste of energy it's just a waste of everything so that's the only problem I have with coming up in the industry. They need more genuine people on the forefront that's pushing the buttons. A lot of the people that's pushing the buttons is not the genuine people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because me and this man, we the two hottest artists in the city. I don't hands down, we don't have no deal. But we don't get we don't we get the recognition we get because we force them to fuck with us. Cause if you know what I'm saying, we doing so much. And make them look corny not to mess with us. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah. So it it, it, be, it be like that type of stuff. Like I feel like they don't they don't really salute us like they should. And we putting in more work than everybody, son. I'm talking about this man got albums out. I got albums out, mixtapes out. We got more videos than these dudes. We more consistent than these dudes. But yet we don't get the recognition for whatever reason. They might not like Jake. They might not like me, but me and Jay together. So yeah. that means they don't like both of us. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Double, double, double. So that that's the only that's the only thing, bro. Like you know, other than that, bro. You know, we we ain't asking for no handouts. We just want what we've been working for. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You feel me? Get that respect. What about you, Jay? Just, just yeah. Kind of, 
I don't know, just kind of pick it back up with he's saying, because I know you asking me the same question also. Um, it's a lot of politics that come in the game. And like uh as fine tuned as I am business wise and as an artist, it's extremely difficult for me to go against the machine. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. And and um the fact that I do size up against the machine, it's a nuisance to compliance. So when that happens, you know, the underdog, he go get over, look, he go get handled and mistreated in a different manner. And, uh, you know, I don't have no, I don't, I don't have nobody. I don't have no big home. I, I ain't never had right. no big home and no, no sugar daddy come through and pay for my t- <laughs> or my cars or none of that. So, you know, it, it's, it's, the fact sprint sprint is a curse and shit and it shouldn't be like that. So that's the biggest thing that I deal with. You know, just uh having to uh take my brain and go other places and like uh even though all the work I put in, like just like me and you, you don't know who I am from a cafe. I mean the body of work and how long I've been doing this shit. So I go to Atlanta and Atlanta everybody's important. I go to Miami, everybody driving Lamborghini. I go to Cali, everybody to mine. Like, it's just like, um, it's a never in the cycle. And people think that that's just the issue in their area. Like, they think, oh, these whoop, 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 whoops, the gun. Now, this is everywhere. But you, you got to stay focused on your goal that's on hand. And that's what keep me really focused on, on what I'm doing and not getting indulged in the politics and, and, the, and the mistreating and all, all this other type of stuff. Like, I don't really like, um, you know, I, I'm aware of it, but like I, I can't really like I can't put my energy into that because if I did, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't yeah. be talking to Super Mario. You know, we wouldn't be talking about these issues. So I know what comes with the territory. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm just ready to level up to become my own machine to deal with the bullshit that come with the machine. Cool. Facts oh, for sure, man. Cool deal. Well, what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a song break. We're going to play a couple of songs. Uh, we're going to play the first one, Manny Williams, um, produced by Kmart Gold, featuring Jack Joe. And then we're going to play another yeah. song uh, from J.R. Sun. So y'all stay tuned to the On The Beat Podcast show. She got on all fours, she a dog bitch She sucked the juice out the head like a crawfish I double back for the pussy for her outfit Pay the stack for the pussy and a mouth bitch
never do it. Sit back and count money with you. You always by my side. I swear to God that I'm always with you. Posing for the ground, me and you, we make a perfect picture. Take a perfect picture. Try my dog, I guarantee she split you. When she bust, I know she gon' split you. When I finger her, she go to hidden. She a gangster, we don't really kiss her. Kiss her dead if I ever kiss her. But I bang her up, she always hitting. The way I grab her dog, she always getting. So hot, so hot. We done came a long way back when I was selling rocks. With a nose full of snot. But she stayed down with me at night for a guy. That's why I ain't worrying about them thoughts. No, I ain't worrying about them thoughts. I'm pretty as ever. Man, she black and she cool. And she got a little dyed up the top of her head. And she bought that drama. And she at least about to dig, yeah. All I ever do is think about you. Girl, I don't know what I do without you. All I ever do is think about you. Girl, I don't know what I do. So me and my chick. So me and my chick. Church with her, clock in and went to work with her. Got the pack, flipped the work with her. Hit the club and I twerk with her. But I ain't talking about dancing. Music playing, she ain't jamming. When I touch, she busts outstanding. She ain't with that fussing, not rambling. She don't talk much, she understand me. She hate them haters, bro, she can't stand them. She commanded when we expanded. She wanna see Jay up in the mansion. I'm like, tonight, babe, I'm gonna slam me. They got a dude with keys, we go jam him. If he flinch wrong, we go blam him. He don't hand him over, we gonna hand him. And we on that late night tip. My hand on a you and my whip. We grab us a drink and we fill it that tank. And we do some late night shh. No talking in the dark, we just creeping and freak. We running our busters, we jacking our weekends. We busters the judge, the tired bitch screeching. I love you to death and I put that on Jesus, yeah. Me and my chick, to me and my chick, man, I know she go here, to me and my chick, to me and my chick, man, I know she go here, to me and my chick, to me and my chick, man, I know she go here, to me and my chick, to me and my chick. All I ever do is think about you, girl, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. All I ever do is think about you. Girl, I don't know what I'll do without you. I love you, baby. Don't believe my size. Please, for real, you've been through a lot. Probably gonna go through a lot more. I need you with me. I gotta stay alive out here. To me and my chick. To me and my chick. Yo, what's going on? We back with the On The Beat Podcast show. We got JR Song uh, riding with us. We got Jack Joe. Um, we've been giving us, uh, you know what I'm saying, our first interview on the On The Beat Podcast show. So shout out to <laughs> fellas right there, man. Hi, huh, bro. See them go- yellow. <laughs> them. See them. Oh, yeah. Oh. All the yellow. <laughs> For sure, man. For sure, man. So, hey, uh, we're going to get into these songs, man. Uh, you know, um, JR Sun, man, you know, you got Manny Williams. Um, can you name out any other, you know, saying projects um, or music projects or, you know, works that you got? Um, that I'm working on? Yeah. That I'm, I'm dropping, man, listen. Murder Cap is going to shake the world. I'm dropping Murder Cap. Okay. For real, it's going to be. It's going to be something special. You love the new honor sound like the world do. You going to love me for this one. You feel me? I got in the meantime two out right now. That is a classic. I mean, you know, I ain't I ain't just saying it. Like, it's, it's a special project. I got real personal. Because I felt like the people, you know, who I was as a man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I, I got personal on that. And it's a special project. You know what I'm saying? So come, I sent two couple of raps off for that. And like, if somebody downloaded, if you a music fan, this ain't about rap. You a music fan of music, real music. You will love that. So yeah. And uh, you know, me and Jack Joker keep hitting them with that fish grease. You know what I'm saying? We we, we cooking <laughs> no, up no. as we speak, going through stuff and 
I, I, I don't even know what, what, what the future hold with that. The near future too, because yeah. we just gotta, we just gotta keep kicking on that, that door that we cracked open. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, Jack Joe, what, what you got, what you got coming out of here pretty soon? Or what you working on? Um, uh, coming out. Well, man, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I don't got a date, but. I got a few songs, Water Music 5, but I got to get back in the studio and, it, and it's like really slowing me down, but it's a good thing too. So um, I dropped the introduction earlier this year, so that's out everywhere. That's not like the Water Music. That's more so on some, you know, like I'm rapping off like different um, beats from people all over, like um, Pyrex Beat Mafia, they're from Miami. Um, Info. I had I, I, I built a relationship with this name Info. He was Universal, Cash Money Universal. And once my situation with Cash Money um stopped, we still kept a relationship. So he still give me beats. So you know what I'm saying? I worked with his with his beats a lot. And really just like I said, man, him man JR's just dropped his man in Williams. And to be honest, we didn't even know it was gonna cause this effect like that. Like so I just, I'm, I'm just really getting behind this. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna slow down and really just focus on what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the same time, you know, get behind bro when he dropped this murder cap. And, um, you know, just keep that momentum going. You feel me? Like, it, it, it's, it's, we just trying to win, bro. Like, that's right, just the right. Thing, bro. Like, you no, know, that's yeah, it. We're bringing the, we we bring the, we bring the championship. Yeah, we bring the championship to. home. Oh, yeah, you got to. Facts. You got to. I'm gonna take like, I'm gonna take the trophy and mics, man. I'm gonna walk in mics with the trophy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you know, I was listening to you know a lot of your son, uh music, Jr. Son, and um, you know, what I'm saying I love the production on it and everything like that. It has kind of like a uh, an right. old school vibe with a new school twist to it and everything like that. Right, like how you got the sample, right. you know, what I'm saying mixed into that and whatnot. So, uh, can you kind of like describe, you know, what I'm saying how you go about, you know, what I'm saying finding your music production or the beats that you have, you know, what I'm saying which is with, with your records. Well, first thing, I first thing first, I look at history with music, like um, like when Puffy and them was winning, uh, Juicy, all these records, man, they tap into uh, it's it's like a uh, it's not a it's not a generation that tap into. So that's the first thing I try to tap into in my production is like being able to get a three year old and an eighty three year old on the dance floor at the same time, because the eighty three year old can relate to the music, and the three year old just just understand like love the good music. Yeah. So that's the first thing I try to when I'm uh, going through my production, because I I don't give a sh I don't care who you are like name wise like long as you fit my sound that I'm trying to make are you able to to understand my point on um, we going with the move. So I don't really look for big producers because I got some home, like came out produced for Yo Gotti, Anne Marie. Like the list goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I got my dude Loski from Baltimore. Like, um, you know, he he produced for a lot of cats in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? A lot of up and coming cats in New Orleans, but his name is, is gigantic or not like that. So like I don't care. You know, for us, like I don't dig for names with production, but I dig for a sound. It's it's a uh, it's a soulful sound that I look for that people across the board can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. How about you, uh, Jack Joe? Like, how you go out, go about, and find you? Do you work with a specific uh, specific producer, or you know, saying you go on beat sites, or you know, saying how it works for you? I mean, I, like most of the producers I work with, I got a personal relationship with. Like, I bought my dog, J. Mine, who um, do all my water music. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, Info, um, Dude 1080, Mercenary. Like, I know these dudes personally. So I don't, I don't really, like, reach out to new people unless it be like, like, I need to mess with him. <laughs> Bro be like, no, Jack. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't yeah, really yeah. reaching out though, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, you know I, I've been doing this by myself for so long, and I'd be like, man, I don't really be needing people. But if it if it's right for the business, and you know what I'm saying, bro, be like, hey, you should go with that move. Then I'd be like, all right. right. Other than that, nah. Yeah. Nah. Oh, okay. If I don't know you, yeah. I really ain't gonna even work with you. Yeah. And, but, you know and sometimes I, you gotta take that approach. You know what I'm saying? Because. 
you know, you kind of want to keep that vibe or, you know what I'm saying, that style, you know, yeah. together, you know what I'm saying? So um, I, I could definitely feel what you're talking about, Jack Joe. Uh, I got two more questions for you guys, man. I'm gonna let y'all get on um, about your day, man. So um, what factors or strategies of promotion, um, you know what I'm saying, do you guys use the most uh, to to get out there, and, you know what I'm saying, to promote your music? Do you do music distribution, <laughs> quality of music production, media exposure, live performances? Y'all talk to me. Money. Man, listen. <laughs> you gotta Straight have up. a bag in this rap business. Straight if up. You don't have a bag, you can't get quality production. If you don't have a bag, you can't open up for that. You you can't open up for that dude that you need the fifty thousand people to see. If you don't have a bag, you don't have the money to get the promotional products to do what you need to do. But with all that being said, even if it's a shoestring budget, I take that. I break it down and I split everything to where it's gonna go so everything can run as if I'm a machine. So I run Jay Austin as if Jay Austin is a label himself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have my street team out there. I'm gonna have everything together. We go do the shows, we go press go. We go move in a manner. I'm gonna have my PR emailing people, harassing them, get podcast dates and times and yeah. I'm gonna tap everybody on the show that need to be involved. I'm gonna hit bro up and hit Jack Joe. I say Jack Joe, this the information time. So it's all about organization, have in the back, just like we talked about before. And I think uh, a lot of times artists artists get lost in the sauce in that aspect of things because you know, an artist like having having a creative mind, but that don't mean you able to make the decisions as a businessman that you have to make. So I advise any artist to get with somebody that can help you make business decisions and get on your business because you got to have a strategy with this shit. Yeah, yeah, for real, man. And a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, they get, like you said, they get lost in the sauce, you know what I'm saying, trying to do other things and not, not focusing on, you know what I'm saying, number one, getting that bag, like you guys mentioned. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying, uh, d- taking care of the business and the network inside of things. Um, you know, right, saying, right, right. Those two, you know, what I'm saying, like you said, you can boss up and be them CEOs. You know, what I'm saying that you guys are uh, right now, man. Um, and I think right. you answered like part two of my question or whatnot. But if you had one critical advice you can give out to artists and producers and any other type of creative in the music industry, uh, start with you, Jack Joe. What advice would you give uh, the people out there in this music industry that's trying to come up, man? Like. Mm-hmm. You have to have a certain love for this shit, dog. Like, in order to even survive, because rappers come and go, dog. Like, dude might get a five year run and not satisfied with the work he accomplished in those five years, and then just give it up and go get a little job or something. You hear me? Because it's not really making sense for him financially. But if you live and breathe this shit and gonna die chasing this shit, you know. You gonna win, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just you gotta be in it for the long haul. So my advice for somebody that's trying to, you know, do this: if you ain't willing to die for it, uh, you know, strive for your dream no matter what, because it's gonna be obstacles and it's gonna be things that's gonna make you wanna hang your mic up. Like, you know, just don't get in it. That's my advice because you're gonna be wasting your time. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't look at it like okay, we got a time period to make it. We looking at it like we going to make it. Right. We don't know when we going to make it, but we still striving to make it. You right. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my advice. If you're going to get in it, be 120% sure this what you want to do because right. this, this ain't no game, dog. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas just need to just be knowing what they want to do. Like, you want to rap? Rap. Like, rap. Dedicate right. every time, energy, money, everything to it. Or you ain't gonna get nothing out of it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And what about you, uh, man? Just a, uh, first of all, you definitely have to be passionate about it. You can't just like it, like just to capitalize what he said. Like, you know, I didn't slept in the car for this shit. I didn't like took money out my bills for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't been in situations where I bought half of the diapers I could have bought <laughs> and, and put the rest in, invested in myself. Like, you know, but um. Also, with that, you have to have a team too, cause it's 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 so difficult trying to do this stuff by yourself. What I mean by as a team, man, if you ain't got no money, like 
I never forget, man. I was uh, I, I had a uh, I just did a walkthrough at a club, and this artist, you know, he he he, he admired what I do, and he said, man, man, you you you, I'm trying to do what you like how you be moving, but you you got a t- you got a team. I let la- I looked at him, I started laughing. I had like ten people around me, right? And I said, you see that dude right there? That's my nephew. I said, you see that dude right there? That's my brother. You see that right there? That's my brother-in-law. You see that dude right there? That's my mom and nephew. You see the dude right there? That's my daughter's godfather. Like, you got to be able to... Everybody that's around you in your support system and make them you. Because yeah. when you do that, you, you, it'd be start becoming a different type of reality. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you start moving... As a unit, like be organized, you know what I'm saying? All the rest of the stuff, I pretty much um, talked about it already, but just think outside the box, like, because there's so many artists. Um, You know, you don't want to just be another artist. Like, you got to create music yeah. that yep. that's yep. unique and also that the people able to relate to with something else, you know, but you got to separate yourself marketing-wise, business-wise, Look, I mean, you don't want people walking around looking like like you got to learn how to get to a bag. Like this, this my J. Austin merch, right? I made racks off of this merch. You know what I'm saying? J. Y'all see that? Uh, but I'm saying you just gotta be able to um think outside the box and be able to bring in income even when you ain't dropping an album. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta you gotta think income, not just music. Like how else can I be a business? You yeah. know, within myself or whatever. Even if it ain't rap, you gotta make sure you bring in bread because the stuff take bread. Yeah. So it just that's just is what it is. Hey man, shoot, that's some good gems you guys uh dropped on the on the folks right there. So people, y'all make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, take heed to what they said or whatnot, man. Hey, look, I appreciate you guys tuning in to the on the beat podcast show. Thank you, JR Son. Thank you, Jack Joe, for tuning in for this interview. Um, they got a song out. It's called Manny Williams, produced by <laughs> K Mark Gold, featuring Jack Joe. Um, hey guys, won't you tell the p- people how they can get this song, Manny Williams, and uh, download it and put it in their phones or whatnot? Man, you can go to any streaming platform. Everything. You go on World Star. Look at us, man. You go on BlackPeopleMeet.com. Our video will pop up at the top of their page. <laughs> We on the playlist top twenty um top twenty world star playlists okay on Apple Music we on the playlist of world star yeah so look man well right whatever you stream man you just type in uh Mandy Williams just gonna pop up you heard and I saw you y'all you guys had like a a challenge on Instagram Mandy Williams challenge oh man listen we got Mandy Williams challenge (laughs) look we got a Mandy Williams challenge we got a cash out for the twerkers we got a cash out for the fellas of you bucking. You know what I'm saying? To our music. Yeah, man, we doing all that. You know what I'm saying? We all need that all that promote. All that helps out, man, in the promote, stuff like that. Cool deal, man. So, hey, guys, man, I appreciate you riding with me on this interview or whatnot. Uh, JR Sun, man, kick out all your social media handles where people can come and find you at, man. You can find me at at underscore J-A-Y-A-R-S-O-N, Twitter, Instagram, on Facebook, J-A-Y-A-R-S-O-N. You can Google J A Y A R S O N and everything will pop up, man. Videos. I got a, a unlimited list of archive of videos. Uh, just go to jawson.com. I love it, man. <laughs> feel me? All right, all right. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all get that information. Jack Joe, how people can find you, bro? Man, um, simple, bro. At Jack Joe for um, Instagram, my Facebook, uh, Twitter, Jack Joe. Um, yeah, man, YouTube, Jack Joe, like, like, bro, I got a, a lot of videos, and, man, just, yeah, all you gotta do is type us up, bro, that shit gonna pop up, though, it's we'll a pop lot. Up. Lot. We'll pop up, me and twin in the win, you heard? You already know what it is, for. <laughs> for sure, man, well, for real, though. Hey, y'all guys, man, we appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, coming in, uh, doing an interview with uh, Super Mario on the Beat Podcast show, um, Folks, we had our son, Jack Joe, on this interview. Y'all make sure y'all go download Manny Williams featuring Jack Joe, produced by K. Mark Gold. And uh, we're going to be out, man. Any closing comments for you guys? Hey, thanks for the opportunity, big brother. Man, appreciate it, man. Shout out to B Pat Podcast and Super Mario, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with them people, man. They doing great things out here. Yeah.
for sure, man. And I want to also give a shout out to Miss Arlene, you know what I'm saying, uh, for bringing you guys on. She's uh, with Miko Dreams PR, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I, have- I-, 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 I probably Shout out to Arlene. Arlene. Shout out to yeah. Arlene. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we're out, man. People, y'all stay tuned for the next episode on the B Podcast. Bring our son, Jack Joe. <laughs> man, we-, <laughs> we out. <laughs> <laughs> Duh.